What does Tesla, LinkedIn, and YouTube have in common? Besides all of them being tech companies, they were all founded by PayPal Mafia. In fact, if you just take a look at the Silicon Valley, you will find out that the PayPal Mafia was involved in almost every major company, starting from Facebook, Instagram, to Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, and even Reddit. This small, talented group of people literally shaped the future of the internet. And in this video, we are going to take a look at how on earth did so many super talented people ended up working together? How did they all became billionaires? How powerful is this mafia today? And why every single one of them has left PayPal? When we talk about mafia, we usually mean a violent gang, usually when few families join forces and take control over some illegal businesses. First of all, there isn't much competition because it's illegal and not everyone can do that. And secondly, even if there will be competition, you don't get rid of your competitors by improving your products or servers, rather you get rid of them in a straight and literal meaning. However, as the new century was about to begin that brought with it an innovation that had the potential to completely reshape humanity. A small group of people took advantage of it and became the PayPal Mafia. In the late 1990s, when the internet was booming, when investors were throwing money at any company that had .com in its name, Elon Musk dropped out and moved to the United States to start Zip2 with his brother Kimball, with the money he successfully raised from a small group of angel investors. Although the company was quite successful and went to obtain contracts with giants such as the New York Times, the board turned down Musk to become the CEO of the company. So he left with $22 million when it was acquired by Compaq to start X.com in 1999, an online financial service company. He was so much into this company that he paid a million dollars just to obtain the name X.com. However, he wasn't the only one with this brilliant idea to start online banking. It's the late 1990s, everybody was trying to turn any service online and make a fortune. A year before that, Peter Thiel together with Max Levkin, who moved to the United States right after the fall of the Soviet Union, founded Confinity. The goal was to make money transfers simple and easy online. The prime target were the PDA users. It was basically the iPhone of that time, a little digital assistant. However, later on they realized that they could sync the software with email and the web. So with or without the PDA, the users could transfer money. And they named this product PayPal. That's how PayPal was born. Transferring money today seems such a basic idea. However, in the 1990s, that wasn't the case. The ability for anyone to transfer money around the globe was something revolutionary. The rivalry between the two companies was fierce. To boost up their users, Confinity started offering $10 bonus sign up and a $10 referral bonus for each new user. It might seem like X.com would offer exactly the same to stay competitive, however, they raised that number and offered a $20 bonus for each sign up and a $10 bonus for each referral sign up. You are probably already guessing how it went for both companies. They were bleeding cash and it was only a matter of time before one of them would go bankrupt. But regardless, it was a brilliant idea because no one would mind free money. So the number of users grew dramatically. In the next three months, PayPal had already attracted 12,000 users. However, what really made PayPal so successful was eBay. It was kicked off a few years earlier and already was at the top of the internet at that time. Despite its dramatic growth, the only way to pay for things was through checks, which were extremely inconvenient. That's why they chose to integrate PayPal into their system, which made PayPal even more popular. On the other side, Musk was in a little trouble with X.com because his key partner, Harris Freaker, resigned and many important engineers left with him. Unlike Confinity, who only focused on transferring money online, X.com was an actual bank with an appropriate license. 
But of course, one of their major services was transferring money to one another, which made the two companies fierce competitors. The two companies fought to gain eBay users, but at some point, they realized that this competition will hurt them both. On one side, PayPal was much more popular than X.com, but it was bleeding cash, while X.com had plenty of cash around which pushed the two companies to merge under the name PayPal. This decision later came to be extremely crucial. For the last five years, investors were blindly throwing money at every company that added .com in their name. So the next year, in 2001, the bubble burst and most internet companies literally went bankrupt one after another. And if it wasn't for that merger, PayPal or X.com individually wouldn't survive the crisis. PayPal was already struggling before the crisis. The two teams couldn't work together efficiently, and the future of the company was quite blurred. Bill Harris was the first CEO, then he was replaced by Musk, then when Musk was on a vacation, he was replaced by Peter Thiel. The company was going through a lot of instability. Despite the struggles, in 2002, PayPal went public and generated $61 million. Shortly after the IPO, eBay made them an offer they couldn't refuse. $1.5 billion for the entire company in July of the same year, since PayPal became the payment method used by majority of eBay users. But eBay changed PayPal to its core to the point where all the founders left. But they didn't just leave, but founded some of the most innovative companies in the world. Steve Chen, Chad Harley, and Jawad Kareem, who kick-started Confinity with Peter Thiel, went to start an online video sharing company that they named YouTube. In 2005, the service took off incredibly fast, and by 2006, Google made them an offer they couldn't refuse, and purchased YouTube for $1.65 billion. Raid Hoffman, who was on the board of directors of PayPal and the executive vice president, started LinkedIn in 2002, the first business-oriented online social network. Today, LinkedIn has almost 600 million users and operates all over the globe. And in June of 2016, Microsoft proposed to acquire LinkedIn for $26.2 billion in cash, an offer they couldn't refuse. That also put Hoffman on Microsoft's board of director and made him a billionaire. And then there is Elon Musk, who doesn't need an introduction. Since he was the biggest shareholder, he earned $250 million from this deal, but was only left with $180 million after taxes. His ambitions were beyond this world. Anyone else would start maybe a company and leave the rest on an investment fund, but not Musk. He started a rocket manufacturing and space transportation company with $100 million right after exiting PayPal to colonize Mars and make humanity multi-planetary species. He invested another $70 million in Tesla, an electric car company, and the last $10 million he invested in Solar City to improve solar energy technology. Despite that SpaceX and Tesla almost went bankrupt, Today, they are at the top of the world. He also launched Neuralink, a neurotechnology company that develops implantable brain-machine interfaces, and the Boring Company, to dig tunnels underground to reduce traffic. In fact, he started the company because he couldn't take the LA traffic anymore. Peter Thiel, who was the CFO at PayPal, started a hedge fund. Clarium Capital, with the $55 million he has earned from PayPal deal. He became the first outside investor in Facebook. He invested $500,000 for 10.2% equity. Thiel was not only actively involved in Facebook's day-to-day -day running, but also helped the company to survive the 2008 crash. And when Facebook went public, he sold most of his shares and became a billionaire. Former vice president of PayPal, Jeremy Stoppelman, went to start Yelp with a few other PayPal employees. It's a crowdsourced review online service that has a market value of $2.5 billion. 
and as of 2017, Yelp reported having a monthly average of 150 million unique visitors. The rest of the team who worked at PayPal went to start multiple different startups that became eventually multi-billion dollar companies. But besides that, there were early investors in multiple companies that shaped our reality today. Uber, Airbnb, Instagram, Dropbox, Quora, Evernote, Spotify, Reddit, Pinterest, Lyft, and many, many others. This group of incredibly talented people later came to be known as the PayPal Mafia. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it. Thanks for watching and until next time.